indeed. So Stevie Marlin gets the minute underway for the first league match of the new season. Feel they really need to get control of this game because Morton looked relatively confident on the ball. Well, Hutton picks up in the middle of the park. Marlin loses out. Good chance to get the shot away. It's a good effort there from Michael Tidza. And it's off the bar. Well, it was a really slight pass. Stevie Marlin can't do much more than he did to try and uh, get it back. And that's a very decent effort from Tidza. No one is closing him down. No one is... Uh, it's been, it's just been given the opportunity there to take the shot and it's actually a very very good effort and uh, that's quite unlucky Jamie Lanfield was building Andy start straight back to Forbes though gets past Marlin Marlin does well to hang with him Forbes with the ball and it's a good header and it's off the bar an excellent chance for Morton it'll fall for McDonough I'm not quite sure who it's come off Tidsel this time and it'll be Jamie Langfield to collect three chances in the space of 60 seconds there for Morton Katongo might get another one but he's offside a bit late there from Gary Irvin the referee's going to give the free kick Irvin doesn't look happy Gary Irvin has to watch himself there because I don't think there's a great deal of difference between that and the one that, um, we saw Jack Baird get booked for um, Apart from the oh, fact no, that Jack Bills was definitely a yellow oh, card. Oh, no doubt, but I, I, for a minute I thought McLean was going to pull the yellow card out there. Well, it's another chance for Forbes to get the ball into the box. 15 minutes gone, still nil nil. Referee taking his time to make sure this defence and attacks in order. Forbes gets the ball in. Claims for a penalty and it's in. And it's number four, Thomas O'Wear, that scored the goal, the opening goal in the Renfrewshire Derby. The Morton fans had appealed for a penalty on the edge of the box as the ball came in. But Thomas O'Wear was alert, got his foot to the ball. St Mirren nil, Morton one. Going off. Now that's a surprise. Jason Naismith is going to go central and back Jack three. Baird and Andy Webster will be the back three. On comes John Sutton. 20 minutes to go. Three up front. Just can't get the ball under control and Hutton's won it back though. Sutton. Right way to Walsh. In a bit of space here, Tom Walsh. Close down by Doyle. Gets the ball in the box. It's over the head. Might fall for Hutton. Doesn't. Marlin. Out to Morgan. Got to get the ball in the box, Lewis Morgan. Drives at his man. Gets past him. Thinks it in. Looks for Tom Walsh. It's a header from George Sutton. And there is. With seven minutes left. John Sutton gets his first goal for the club after returning in the summer. Submit in one. Morton won brilliant play and he's not been great all afternoon but Lewis Morgan does really well to get it to the byline it is the perfect cross for a player like John Sutton and uh, the keeper has no chance and that is more much more like it from St Mirren and you can hear the reaction from the home support that's got them going and it's going to be a very very interesting final few minutes great play again from Lewis Morgan on the right hand side wonderful ball to the far post keeper is scrambling all over the place and it's a really good header from John Sutton, you really don't expect to miss that, and he didn't. Terrific error from John Sutton. His 31st St Mirren goal, his first since his return to the club. Perfect time to score it. Gives both teams the chance to make a tasty last few minutes. Absolutely. Yep, there and there it is, the full-time whistle here at the Paisley 2021 Stadium. They left it late, did St Mirren. John Sutton with his first goal back at the club since he joined in the summer. St Mirren won, Morton won.